Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I design Christmas ornaments and wood rounds in Cricut Design Space. These two mock-ups here on the right are ones that I have already designed and I just wanted to go ahead and show you these so you know what we will be doing today. So first I'm going to go into shapes and click on circle. Now if you want to, you can leave this a solid circle if you want, but what I like to do is come up here to where it says line type and change this to draw so that we have an outline of a circle. Now I'm going to insert my text and we're going to make a design that says Merry Christmas. So I'm going to go ahead and type out Merry Christmas in all lowercase letters and then in uppercase letters. That way I have all my options available when I'm designing. And um, for these I like to mix and match. So I'm going to click on ungroup to make them all individual pieces. And now I'm just going to piece these together and mess around with them until I get um, a design that I like. And this part is all just trial and error. It might take a while to figure out what looks best. I'm going to go ahead and select all of these. Oops. What's this R? Let's make it bigger. Right now I'm just trying to get the beginning to be on one side of the circle and then the Y on the end. When I do these designs, I just try to use up as much space as possible. Now I normally don't recommend this, but since I like to use up all of the area, I do unlock the letters and stretch them a little bit. Just make sure you don't stretch them too much because sometimes they can look pretty bad if you do. That looks good for now. We might have to make some adjustments later, but I'm gonna go ahead and start on Christmas just to see where we're at. If you notice, I'm kind of um, doing some of these letters above, like I'm putting them higher and some of them lower, just to try to, again, cover more space. Okay, that's not terrible. Um, this side looks really spread out though compared to the other. Okay, I'm going to select all of these and move them over just a tad. Looks like I missed the eye. hiding back there. There we go. That looks pretty good actually. So we did pretty good covering all the area. We have a little bit and that's okay. 
One thing you could do if you wanted, if you're left with a lot of area at the bottom of your design, especially on this um, Merry Christmas one, if you're doing ornaments or a wood round for your door um, or your home, especially if it's for a gift, you could add your last name and the year. Um, and I think that'd be really cute for an ornament. I would be really happy to receive a gift like that. So let's go ahead and see what this would look like on one of our mock-ups on the right. I'm just gonna clear this out and delete our guide out. I'm gonna keep these all one color. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and click weld down here if you want to, you can change it to multiple colors and then just weld your light colors and attach. I'm going to make this white to put on the black ornament here. And I'm going to move this out. Looks like we need to move this up. Let's make these bigger. Just rotate it so it's on there evenly. There, I think that looks pretty good. So as you can see, these are very easy to create. Um, if you like this tutorial and you liked the fonts I was using or the mockups, I will go ahead and link those in the description box for you so you can check those out if you want to try to recreate these. These mockups are really great to use if you're making a design for a customer that way they can get a feel for the design before you actually use your materials to make them. I also have a couple bundles of these ornament or round designs pre-made um, for Christmas. I have two sets at the moment and they are available to purchase and download and I can link those down below if you want to check those out as well um, if you just want to use some pre-made SVGs to save time and you can also personalize those as well as I mentioned before with a name or you could add flourishes or Christmas trees or bells um, anything else to them thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys next time. Bye.